Only the foolhardy or the very brave would willingly risk a journey into Darkwood Forest, where strange, twisting paths wind their way into the eerie depths. Who knows what monstrous creatures lurk in the threatening shadows or what deadly adventures await the unwary traveller. Do you dare to enter? Hello, I'm Colin Green and you are listening to Spike Pit. In a desperate race against time, deep within Darkwood, your quest is to find the missing pieces of the legendary hammer of Stonebridge, which was fashioned by dwarves to protect peaceful Stonebridge against its ancient doom. Two dice, a pencil and an eraser are all you need to embark on this thrilling adventure of sword and sorcery, complete with its elaborate combat system and a score sheet to record your gains and losses. Many dangers lie ahead and your success is by no means certain. It's up to you to decide which paths to take, which dangers to risk and which adversaries to fight. You are an adventurer, a sword for hire and have been roaming the northern borderlands of your kingdom. Having always spurned the dullness of village life, you now wander the lands in search of wealth and danger. Despite the long walks and rough outdoor life, you are content with your unknown destiny. The world holds no fears for you as you are a skillful warrior, well practised in the art of slaying evil men and beasts with your trusty sword. Not once during the last ten days since entering the northern borderlands have you set your eyes upon another person. This does not worry you at all, as you are happy with your own company and enjoy the slow, sunny days, hunting, eating and sleeping. It is evening, and having feasted on a dinner of rabbit, spit roasted on an open fire, you settle down to sleep beneath your sheepskin blanket. There's a full moon and the light sparkles on the blade of your broadsword, skewered into the ground by your side. You gaze at it, wondering when you will next have to wipe the blood of some vile creature from its sharp edge. These are strange lands, inhabited by weird and loathsome beasts, goblins, trolls and even dragons. As the flame of your campfire gently dies, you begin to drift asleep and images of screaming green-faced trolls flicker through your mind. Suddenly, In the bushes to your left you hear the loud crack of a twig breaking under a clumsy foot. You leap up and grab your sword from the ground. You stand motionless but alert, ready to pounce on your unseen adversary. Then you hear a groan, followed by the dull thud of a body falling to the ground. Is it a trap? Slowly you walk over to the bush where the noise is coming from and carefully pull back the branches. You look down to see a little old man with a great bushy beard, his face contorted with pain. You crouch down to remove the iron helmet covering his balding head and notice two crossbow bolts protruding from the stomach of his plump chainmail clad torso. Picking him up, you carry him over to the fire and stir the dying embers into life. After covering him with the sheepskin blanket, you manage to get the old man to drink a little water. He coughs and moans. He sits up rigid, eyes staring fixedly ahead, and starts to shout. I'll get them, I'll get them, don't you fear. Gillibrand, big leg is coming to bring you the hammer. Oh yes, indeed I am. Oh yes. The dwarf whose name you presume to be Big Leg, is obviously delirious from the poison-tipped bolts lodged in his stomach. You watch as he slumps down again to the ground, then whisper his name in his ear. His eyes stare unblinkingly at you as he again starts to shout, Ambush! Look out! Ambush! Ah! The hammer! 
Take the hammer to Gillibrand. Save <coughs> the dwarves. His eyes half close and the pain seems to ease a little. As the delirium subsides, he speaks to you again in a low whisper. Help us, friend. <coughs> Take the hammer to Gillibrand. Only the hammer will unite our people against the trolls. <coughs> we were on our way to the Darkwood in search of the hammer. Ambushed by the little people. Others killed. <coughs> the map. In my pouch will take you to the home of Yastromo, the master mage of these parts. He has great magics for sale to protect you against the creatures of Darkwood. <laughs> take my gold, I beg you, to find the hammer. Take it to Gillibrand, my lord of Stonebridge. You will be well rewarded. <laughs> Big Leg opens his mouth to start another sentence But nothing comes out Except his last dying breath You sit down and ponder Big Leg's words Who is Gillibrand? Who is Astromo? What is all the fuss about the dwarfish hammer? You reach over to the steel body of Big Leg and remove the pouch from the leather belt around his waist. Inside, you find 30 gold pieces and a map. Jingling the coins in your hand, you think of the possible rewards which may await you just for returning a hammer to a village of dwarves. You decide to try to find the hammer in Darkwood Forest. It's been a few weeks since your last good battle, and what is more, you are likely to be well paid for this one. With your mind made up, you settle down to sleep, having taken back the sheepskin blanket from poor Big Leg. In the morning, you bury the old dwarf and gather up your possessions. You examine the map, look up to the sun and find your bearings. Whistling merrily, you head off south at a good pace, eager to meet this man, Yastromo, and see what he has to offer. <laughs> Well, there you go. Another episode in the can for RPG A Day Month. That reading was taken from Ian Livingston's Forest of Doom. It's the introduction to the book and also my introduction to fighting fantasy game books. Absolutely dripping with nostalgia. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for indulging me, taking a little bit of time out of your day to listen to Old Spike Pit. Take care and I'll catch you later.